Hey Aussies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie. I am a flight attendant Chicago based and if you are not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I have been a flight attendant now for almost two years and I'm vlogging today because I think this is the best trip that I've ever gotten as a reserve flight attendant and that is like pretty significant, okay? So I've been on reserve for two years flying red eyes, turns, back to back delays, cancellations just all this like rough flying but I feel like I got a really really good trip um, right now I am in Minneapolis Minnesota and tomorrow I have 24 hours in Aguadilla Puerto Rico airport code is BQN so yeah I'm like so excited to go to Puerto Rico on the complete west side of the island i've never been there i've never even been that far west i've only been to san juan for like a short amount of time other than when i went there for leisure travel so i've never had a layover in aguadilla let alone san juan i've had one san juan layover in my entire time flying so this is pretty exciting and i wanted to vlog my four-day trip um, we flew all day, so it wasn't anything crazy to really talk about, but I had some really amazing passengers, just like really respectful, polite, happy, like nice people today, and it was like, it was so refreshing. I was just like, is something going on? Everyone was too nice and normal, and that was just so cool. I met some like really random passengers. One guy actually used to go to the bar where Shanola Hampton from Shameless used to work at before she became a star on that show. Um, I'm not gonna do much more tonight. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not even eating because I ate some chicken on the plane and I'm not even hungry. So I'm just gonna go to bed here and um, yeah, I wanna walk around the mall tomorrow and control myself from buying everything, but I kinda wanna just see what's going on over there. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go to bed in a few minutes. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Elsie's. Good morning, guys. It was so hard for me to wake up. I was just gonna keep sleeping in and sleeping in and sleeping in, but I really wanna go to the mall. <laughs> so I managed to get myself out of bed. Need a coffee, like, stat. My friend, who I know from college, she was like messaging me, um, telling me about all of these things she's experiencing at her job, which is the place I used to work at. It was a court reporting firm. And it's like insane, like the bullying and the harassment and everything she's experiencing is exactly what happened to me there. Only mine was probably worse, but it's like crazy. Like just thinking about that, like the, the places I used to work before getting this job were absolute hell. And I'm just really grateful to have this job. My career now is like the best thing that ever happened to me. So yeah, I'm just really lucky and grateful and blessed. Okay, so I should show you guys this room a little bit. Um, here's the entryway. Doo -doo -doo. The um, fridge is hiding behind that thing. And then this is the room. Okay, I'm gonna go to the mall now. Bye! Okay, so I made it to the mall and I'm wearing my pajamas. Everyone's staring at me, whoops. And the mall is huge. There's like just levels everywhere and stores everywhere and it's like actually really overwhelming and I'm just trying to figure out what stores I should go to in this little hour that I have here. Um, but yeah, I think that I'm gonna go to like Starbucks first, get a cold brew, and then I'll do like maybe Abercrombie and Fitch, Hollister, cause I'm 12 and yeah, I don't know. That's it for now. Hey Elsie, so I just got done at Mall of America. I didn't really do any shopping. I was just looking around, walking around, you know, checking it out. I feel like it's a little bit overrated because everything is just full price. There's like no sale at any stores. I mean some, but it's just like I'm used to like outlet malls, like the fashion outlets of Chicago. So it was just kind of like meh. It was okay, but there was no like factory stores, no like crazy deals. And it was just so like huge that I probably only got to see like 10 stores literally i am gonna get ready i bought one thing go me saving money let me show you what i got from fossil so this is what i got from fossil it's just a little pendant that i had engraved it says j and m for Janie and matthew 
they have really high quality jewelry at Fossil, so I definitely recommend it. This little pendant, um, the engraving was free. And yeah, the other side has a little diamond. I already have chains at home, so I didn't get the chain. I feel like they were a little overpriced. But yeah, that is the only thing I bought today was this little fossil charm. Good morning, Yelsies. So today I actually woke up in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh, it's like 88 and sunny outside. I look so pale right now. That's why I need to go outside. Um... So I woke up here in Aguadilla, I'm going to walk to the beach, and I'm trying to find food, but there's like a few places that are closed, it's Sunday, um, but yeah, just to like wake up on an island and be here for this weather, it's like so amazing. We got in at like 3 o'clock in the morning, so it was kind of weird, and then I slept till about 1, and then our show time today is like 2.30, so it's like a full 24 hours here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach, walk around, just like do whatever, just kind of explore today. This is the view from my room. So it's kind of dusty. They have not cleaned the windows and I don't know how to open them. <laughs> but you can see it is beautiful outside. And then this hotel room, it's okay. It's like a little bit older. Definitely just like older or whatever. But it's fine. I'm on an island. <laughs> It's okay though. I don't I really don't care at this point. Yeah, so Okay, well, I'm going to go outside. Bye. So, I just got done at the surf shop and that was really fun. They had like so much cute stuff. really really expensive though like the men's button-up tops were like 65 like it was crazy pricing but they did have really cool stuff and they had a little clearance section but nothing fit me um so yeah i just got some lunch from survivor bistro cafe and i got a little chicken salad so i'm gonna walk to the beach now my other issue is i don't have sunscreen like an idiot and it's 88 degrees and sunny um basically i usually put this little small one in my bag and it's not in there so all i have is tanning oil not good and like the cheapest one in walking distance is literally like 20 dollars, so that really sucks so yeah i might just sit in the shade or like i don't know i don't know bring your sunblock people okay this is just so beautiful i am trekking through the jungle right now to get to the beach and it's just really magical so the beach was very nice, um, but I kind of want to explore another beach. So I think I'm going to head back to the hotel and see if I can get an Uber or a taxi over to Crash Boat. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to show you guys what this beach was like. out of here I have like a really tall hill to climb to get out of this beach area and then I'm gonna see if I can get like a taxi or an uber over to the other beach so bye people pick me up in the back of their truck because they are amazing so <laughs> I'm so happy right now I didn't have to walk Okay, so I'm outside at the hotel right now, and I have my map shirt on. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna edit on my computer for a little bit, and then our showtime isn't until 2 a.m. So, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, there's like other cabin crew here, and they look so fancy. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Hey everyone, it is one o'clock in the morning. Er, no, it's midnight, 
and our van time tonight is 2.10, no, 2.09 a.m. So I have to be downstairs for the shuttle at 2.09 a.m. So I'm going to sleep for an hour from midnight to 1 a.m. And then we're going to work a flight from Aguadilla to Fort Lauderdale. And then we have 10 hours rest there. And then we fly one leg home to Chicago. So yeah, this layover has been amazing. Probably one of my best layovers ever. I kind of wish that I was able to check out Crash Boat Beach, which is kind of like a five mile drive. So I wasn't able to like walk there and the taxi and Uber service is super limited here. So I couldn't get over there or if I could get over there, I could only get there. And then on the way back, I may have not had a ride. So I didn't want to risk like getting stuck there, having to hitchhike like I've had to do before. Um, in Vegas so we're just not even gonna get into that but basically I played it safe I walked to the beach that was near the layover and it was a great day I didn't get too much Sun like it was a perfect day so yeah now I'm just gonna take a nap and then work our flight to Fort Lauderdale and I will catch up with the vlog in a little bit good night y'all this is a new one so I accidentally froze my ice packs in the freezer this will not come out because this is too frozen that's never happened before so i am pouring hot water on it trying to melt it so i can take my ice packs and leave and it's just not working it's, if i could get this part down it's not and it won't go through the back because this thing like barely has any space in the back so, oh my goodness. Hey, all these. Um, I just got in off of a red eye. It was, it was, it was rough. We left Aguadilla um, like almost an hour late. We had like ten wheelchairs. Just chaotic, chaotic. I'm sanitizing my phone right now. My fingers are literally on fire from the alcohol i've been picking so bad and my anxiety medication is literally doing nothing and not understanding the assignment that's just been like a problem i don't know what's going on i just feel like i'm picking really bad at work um and i have to keep like replacing my band-aids like every flight practically and then i wash my hands and i gotta re-replace it like it's so hard to keep the Neosporin and the band-aids on because I'm constantly like washing my hands so sometimes I'll put the band-aids on and then I'll just use a lot of gloves but um I basically have dermatillomania it is like an obsessive picking disorder type thing connected to anxiety I've had that like my entire life and it's been untreated most of my life so um, yeah, I've been struggling with that for like as long as I can remember and it's just it's really horrible on the fingers because obviously germs, but um, it just looks disgusting and It's just like I can't even do my nails right now because my cuticles in the area around my fingers aren't really strong enough right now for that or I, I can't put acetone on my fingers that have like literal cuts on them and stuff like that and skin missing and they're sore it's in, they're inflamed you know my hands are literally sore when this happens so I don't know why I've just been having like flare-ups with the picking at work I was doing so good for so long yeah this started getting bad in high school um, when I was doing like three different sports debate AP classes two jobs like it was definitely really bad in high school cheerleading would stress me out really bad especially like the coaching and the training and stuff and I would literally pick my shoulders underneath my shirt to the point where my shoulders would be like literally profusely bleeding through my cheerleading shirts and my coach was like um what's wrong with your daughter so and it like I didn't even notice like I would just be like this during practice like picking inside my shirt and then my blood would like come through the shirt. 
I don't know, I'm literally blabbing on at this point, probably gonna cut this whole part, but yeah, if you are also an obsessive picker and you've actually found a solution, and please don't tell me to buy like a fidget thing because I promise you that just doesn't work as well as you think. Um, I need like medication. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm out of band-aids. Um, I carry this little welly thing. You probably saw this in my what's in my bag video. I carry Neosporin in my little welly tin. Okay, so I bandaged three fingers here and two here. There's a few more that need bandages, but for now that's just like as good as it's gonna get. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and my show time is at like four o'clock so I'm barely getting seven hours of sleep so I just want to sleep leave me alone this is so painful of course flight home is delayed an hour of course so I'm getting home an hour later than expected Oh, that might be good. That might push my reserve period to reserve C. Actually, that might be good. I can't, I don't know. <sighs> I slept from like six, seven. I don't know when I got here. Whenever I got here in the morning, I slept till 2.50. So, um, yeah, I did get a good amount of sleep, but I still feel really tired. So, just sucks. I'm so sick of red eyes and only having minimum rest after or before them. Um, but yeah, I'm about to pack up my hotel room change and go to the airport. Bye, Aussies.